Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the small, highly efficient wheat farm. It produces 110 wheat an hour and it is really small and doesn't use that much resources, just use, uses a bit of iron. Obviously you don't need the iron on the outside. You can use any block you want for that, but you do need the glowstone for light so your plants can grow at night. So... What happens is there's villagers here with brown robes. You need to make sure they have brown robes in these little cells. And when wheat grows, they will collect it. And there is a hopper minecart down here. As you can see, it's busy roaming around. And we'll collect all the wheat and put it all into this chest here. So I'm just going to speed this up, I'm going to show you them collecting it. Okay, so from that harvest we got a pack of 64 and 9 and we lost 15 and those 15 are on the corners of the um, machine and the hop at the bottom can't pick them up. But still with those 15 gone you'll still get 160 wheat um, an hour. So let's go on to the tutorial. Okay, so you just want to get things started with a 7x9 area at the top and a 10 by 9 area at the bottom. The 9 long is this way and the 10 long is this way and also the 7 long. Then what you're going to do is come to the corner here and um, locate this corner right there and place a chest under it and a hopper on top. Then you just want to place a powered rail here and, and then just place normal rails going down like this till you reach this point and then uh, just curl it around like this and then when you get back here you want to put a powered rail here instead then do a turn another powered rail go down and just repeat the process going all the way back up and around and then at the end what you want to do is just place a powered rail there and you should have something that looks like this then what you want to do is go down to the bottom here and place levers like this and just power all of them like so like that and then just go on to the other side and do the exact same thing it should look something like that hopefully let's are you sure? Yep, and then you'll have this lever here diagonal, like so. Now you don't want to touch this rail yet, we are going to move on to that later. Then what you want to do is go on top of your rail like this, yeah, you, um, yeah. then just go build a 7x7 seven seven platform of dirt, so 7 this way, and 7 this way. And then all you want to do is fill it all in. Okay, so now what you want to do is skip a block here. And then just build another 7x7 seven seven platform of dirt. It should, if you did the first part right, be under all of your rails like that. Then all you want to do is fill this in. Okay, so now what you want to do is just go to the back here. And 
and build your um, foundation here three and just go all the way around like this and build this wall on the exact same side and also just go up like this on both sides and yeah that's pretty simple okay so once you've got something looking like that all you want to do is go to the back here where your unpowered rail is then all you want to do is go from the hopper place a block like that put a redstone comparator on the side facing out of the hopper facing into a block with a block on top of it with a redstone torch let me just get one uh, there we go redstone torch block here break this block and just ke get a piece of redstone dust Minecraft's been doing that a lot. I actually swap it, but it doesn't go into my hotbar. Well, anyways, there, there we go. So, now it should happen. I'm going to push a thing from here. If there are items inside of your hopper minecart, if I can figure out how to push it, um, that should work. And there we go. So, if the hopper minecart lands up here and it should stop, there we go and unload the items. Let me just take a few so it doesn't take that long. When it's done, it should go off and all your items will be in there. So now that you've done that, you can just cover everything up again and we can move on to the next part of the tutorial. Okay, so what you want to do is come here where you've got your hole and then just fill in blocks like this. And what I've got with my pattern is I've done this and also what this pattern does is also block up this redstone and I just have glass going between these and it looks pretty high-tech like that and I just put that all around and as you can see there I've put like a little frame around it and I've put glowstone in these parts of the actual glass so that will create our light and make a cool looking frame. So what you want to do is just put this all around this one and you can also just quickly put it around this one like this and just pull all that in, put your glowstone and your top frame. So you sh your thing should look something like that. And then all you want to do is put it all the way on the outsides. Okay, so once you've done that, it should look something like this. Then what you want to do is go to your middle block and then just place glowstone all around like this with oak fences around the side and a water bucket in the middle. And all you want to do is till all of the ground. So just do this. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, and then all you want to do is plant all your seeds. And then all you want to do is put this exact shape onto that platform there. Okay, so once you've done that, all you want to do is get a villager with nothing in his inventory. And you need to also make sure that this guy has got brown robes. You can just do that. Okay, there we go. So once you have gotten a villager that's got nothing in his ventry with brown robes and you can do that by breeding another villager and if the baby grows up he'll have nothing in his inventory. And all you want to do is give him eight packs of seeds. And you should pick that up and then all you want to do is fill the top this thing with um, glass so the plants can grow faster a day because they've got some skylights to use I guess and you can see everything's growing fast that's just because I've accelerated the random tick speed a bit so all you want to do is do that on the other side and that should be your farm done and also make sure you also put the villager in there obviously Okay, so that's all of our time for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and also subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.